One of the most appealing aspects of Vision Render 2 is the ability to do things really quickly. What do I mean by that? Well, you can have people turn up on your doorstep, and we've done this with a number of companies. They brought their CAD material with them, and within three minutes, we've been visualizing it in an immersive environment with a headset, with the latest Vive or the latest Meta, and the ability to really quickly get people engaged. Three hours later, it looks so much better. You've taken it to the next level, but you may not have put the functionality in because quite often that's part of the discussion. What do you want it to do? Those boundaries are really down to us to make that decision. So after three days, wow. You know, a huge data set with massive functionality that looks good. So Vision Render 2 is a great tool because you literally drop in the CAD, plug it into the device, and then you can visualize straight away. We're moving into an environment, into an age where we've got extended value chains. And to be able to use Visionary Render 2 to communicate across those value chains between different actors on different continents, use it between different actors using different devices, you know, is really, really powerful. We see it being used for design reviews in fundamental first stage design. We then look at it for use in training aspects. So we're looking at virtual prototyping, but then we're seeing it connecting to internet of things, devices, getting real time data streamed into the digital twin. So we're seeing it extending now from being just used as part of the design process throughout the whole life cycle. They then take this model and they keep it updated and it becomes a living asset.